Hi, I'm Derek Wheeler. I'm a biologist. Mark came with me, went out and did uh, the North Fork of the Nicanicum River and the South Fork of the Nicanicum River, just a few mile stretches. It's uh, the Nicanicum pours into Seaside, Oregon. It's a pretty good little fishing spot. You get the Chinook, Coho, and uh, Steelhead. And this is kind of the climax of the life history. When the, when the salmon come in, they spawn, they die, and that's, I make live counts. And then we can we can assume how many fish will be born next year. And we just check to see fish numbers to establish, you know, what a basic population is. Yeah, it was fun. We went around and saw saw what I do. And I think uh, I think we put together a little a little collection of, of what a typical day is. So here's the North Fork. They just got into the river system and just now started spawning. So we got got those to look forward to. Hopefully we can find some dead carcasses so I can show you guys uh, you know what a dead salmon looks like and how we uh, how we process those. So here we go. So this is uh yeah they're right their red is right there they're off to the side they're out of the current just because they're being lazy right now right but all their eggs and sperm are right there and that's that's their whole there's actually quite a few reds the coho have been using this pretty extensively this season yeah that's a spawning pair I think the female's the one on the right and that's a male on the left a female will uh, wear down all their skin on their tail by uh, you know, moving all the rocks to make their red. Right. And I can tell she's new into the system because her tail is completely intact. When they get old and are done spawning, you actually see the bones of their of their uh, tail. Really? Yeah. And hopefully we'll find some carcasses so I can show you that. Little spook. Okay, so what we have here is we've got three males. Right in front, you probably can't see, is a uh, is going to be a female. And these three males are fighting for her affection. She's going to be digging a, a red at her nest. And then uh, they're all going to be fighting to see who gets to fertilize the eggs. Um, there's one, two, three males right here. They're going to start slamming into each other. There we go. They're just jostling, jostling for uh, for mating rights right now. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Look at this on the camera there. This is cool, dude. Look at that. That's perfect. Look at that. You gotta look at that. Look at that. Look at those two right there. So there's an obvious pecking order. The one up front, he's the big boy. That's the middle one. And this guy, this guy's been really wary of the fight. He's uh he's the smallest of the three. And right up front is the female. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I can get real close to her. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. I got that. They're fighting, huh? Yeah. Now he does. <laughs> Man, I thought he was on his last leg, but it doesn't look like it. Uh Here comes Mark. Let's see if he goes for a swim. He just missed getting a steelhead on camera. <laughs> we got a carcass. Okay, so this is a real good size uh, male coho. 
he died, oh, I don't know, a day ago? Maybe the, nah, the birds got to his eyes. He's, he's been dead for a couple days, maybe. So we sample these for its scales and its size. We want to know how big they are. We'll pull out some scales because with the scales you can, um, you can read them like tree rings and they, you can figure out how old the fish is. Salmon stay out, depending by the species, one to five, sometimes six years. And it's helpful to know how often or how long a specific population tends to stay out at sea so we know how many are going to be returning every year. And this is a nice, beautiful, uh, wild, uh, wild coho. I can tell he's a male for a few reasons. Um, his tail, I know it looks in terrible shape, but it's in pretty good shape for a spawned out salmon. Um, other thing is, he's got this big hooked nose, that's called a kite. And we take scales from this specific area, because they have, uh, right about here, these scales have been on the fish its entire life. So here's what their scales look like. When you get in closer under a under a microscope, you'll be able to see them. They have like little tree rings on them. Those are uh, annulus. So you'll know how how old this guy is. And while I got a dead salmon right in front of me, I think it's I should probably note that uh, people feel bad that salmon die. Salmon die. <laughs> they come back, they do their business, hopefully reproduce before somebody catches them or before uh, they die. And they, you know, spawn and die. I'm gonna cut the tail off this because next time we come back, we don't want to take a sample from the same fish and we'll know because the tail's been cut off. This is kind of cool right here. Um, He's got little circle, circle marks. These little circle marks that does that show on there? These are uh, these are from lampreys. So they had this guy had two lampreys on him right here. You can see his little teeth, and that's his mouth. A lot of salmon get lamprey, and lampreys are native. I'm gonna throw him back in the water where I found him. Well, we just uh, finished the North Fork Nicanicum survey about a mile and a half, I think. Had a lot of fun. We had uh, 39 coho in that mile and a half. Four Chinook. Uh, tried to get some pictures of the Chinook, but they just, they weren't giving us any. Uh, yeah, just fresh coho all over the place. They must have come in uh, five, three days ago, most of them. Well, sometime this week at least. So it was a great survey. The water conditions were great. The weather was awesome. Lots of fish.